Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to take my basic PVC pipe structure and turn it into three awesome animal cakes. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh yeah. My name is Aston Kutcher and let's get started. These cakes are extremely adorable. They all have and use the same technique. And I'm really proud of that because it's very easy to make. And most of it is buttercream. Now all these cakes start out the exact same way. Two three inch half dome cakes to create their bodies, some support, and then two six inch half dome cakes to create their heads. I'm going to stack all of these cakes, sandwich some buttercream in the middle, and then give each one of them a crumb coat. So the first cake we're gonna create is B -b 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 Bertha the Black Bear. I'm covering my entire cake, or probably like 90% of this cake, with black buttercream using the Wilton 16 star tip. Hey Wiltons! I like this tip. <laughs> Primarily covering these cakes with buttercream because I think it's far more accessible than any of the fondant cakes that I create. It's also easier to work with. I mean, with fondant, if you don't know how to work with fondant, I don't. I can't help you. <laughs> I should be able to though because it, this, these are tutorials. But with buttercream, if you do something wrong, especially on just like the basic areas, you can just wipe off that mess. So I colored Bertha with black and I gave her a little bit of chest detail using some brown buttercream. Now to create all of these creatures, instead of using fondant to create each of their limbs, I'm using Twinkies. Twinkies make everything so much easier, except for weight loss. <laughs> Add some cutie ears. Oh, they're so adorable. Not many people know this about Bertha, but she loves that smooth R&B. Some Monica, a little bit of brandy, some Donnell Jones. Now because her fur is black, I'm adding some navy blue eyes. If I could change this just a little bit, they would be just a tad bit lighter, but I'm still pretty happy with the way Bertha came out. Oh, Bertha, you look stunning. Oh, God, I love it. It's so cute. Now next, we're going to create Lenny the Tiger. Now for Lenny, because he has stripes, I wanted to make sure that I got them all in the right place and that they were symmetrical on his body. So I'm using a toothpick to just create some guidelines. Then I created the stripes using the exact same Wilton 16 star tip. Now Lenny is very different. He's more of a Michael Bublé kind of a guy. He likes very smooth music, mostly standard stuff, like a Frank Sinatra kind of a deal. Now to create his like belly and stuff, I'm using white buttercream. There's three colors on this cake. Because I'm using three colors of buttercream, I made sure that the buttercream was symmetrical all the way around. With Bartholomew, I just went with the same pattern and just turned the cake slowly. With this one, I did the pattern on half of it and then I repeated that pattern on the other side. Does it make sense? It's okay if it doesn't, that's fine. Once I finished icing the body, I added on my Twinkies. Favorite part by far is always adding the Twinkies to a cake. You got these two cute little paws in the front, these darling back feet. Oh, look how cute they are. Then I added some toes, three toes for each foot, and then I just continued the stripes. His ears are so much more 3D than the lion I created, but I created this cake probably like a month after the lion, so I just took everything I learned from the lion and applied it onto Leroy. Lenny. Is it Lenny or Leroy? Well, whatever his name is, he's a cutie pie. Look at that. Those paws. Adding the three toes to the front of this cake made them look so much more fierce than the lion. He looks like he could do some damage if those claws came out. Next, we're doing our last animal, Bartholomew the lion. Oh, he looks so regal. Now to create Bartholomew, I'm gonna cover his entire body with yellow buttercream. And I'm just using a Wilton 16 star tip, starting at the bottom and just working my way all the way around the cake from the bottom of his body all the way to the top of his head. What do I know about Bartholomew? Bartholomew loves, oh, he loves Blink-182. Hello there, the angel from my nightmare. 
favorite song ever. Super playful, he loves to go into his backyard and dig up some old bones from creatures that he had eaten before because he is a lion and lions eat creatures. And then he likes to make s'mores at night. Very lovely guy. <laughs> Besides the fact that he eats creatures, but again, he is a lion. Now there are fondant pieces to this, I'm going to give him a fondant snout and nose, two black fondant eyes and create his entire mane with some orange and amber and crimson fondant. Isn't this just darling? Look at his little ears. Oh my gosh. Oh Bartholomew, you look so regal. Bartholomew the regal. Lenny the luxurious lion and Bertha the beautiful. I really want to do more animal cakes and I love the very simple technique. It's very tedious because it takes a long time to pipe out all of those little whatever they are. These are the first of many animal cakes. So if you'd like to see a specific animal, write it down in the comments and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!